As more electrically powered devices are connected to the grid, the increased distortion to the electric grid can create problems in the electrical distribution network. To mitigate these issues, power supply designs require advanced power factor correction, or PFC, circuitry to meet strict power factor standards while maintaining high efficiency and low cost. The most commonly used topology for power factor correction is boost PFC, but the advent of wideband gap semiconductors has enabled the implementation of bridgeless topologies like totem pole PFC. Interleaved boost PFC is the most common topology for power factor correction. This topology is made up of a full bridge diode rectifier and two or more interleaved boost converters, which step the voltage up while reducing the ripple of the output voltage and input current, as well as shaping this current into a sinusoidal wave. Totem pole topology is made up of two branches, a slow branch, which switches at the grid frequency, and a fast branch, which must switch at high frequencies to step the voltage up and shape the input current. To achieve insight into which topology is best for different applications, let's compare both PFC topologies. To do so, we developed two simulation models using the same switching devices and input parameters. The totem pole was designed to operate in continuous conduction mode, or CCM, whereas the interleaved boost was designed to operate in critical conduction mode, or CRM. Boost PFC has double the amount of switches compared to totem pole topology. This is because boost topology requires a rectifier bridge, which causes large conduction losses. At medium and low power, this doesn't present too much of an issue due to the low current levels flowing through the diodes. However, at high power, such as 3 kilowatts, these conduction losses rise significantly, making boost PFC topology less efficient than totem pole. Power loss is only one aspect in choosing the appropriate topology for a specific application, but totem pole clearly offers greater advantages for high power applications. Other parameters have also been studied, such as the inductive energy index, which indicates that boost topology requires smaller inductors than totem pole, offering an advantage in size and cost. However, the analysis of the input current ripple and total harmonic distortion demonstrates totem pole topology's superior performance. To learn more about our high power solutions, visit monolithicpower.com. Like this video and subscribe to our channel to get the latest on our innovative new products.